we know how an organized schedule helps us to be productive. You can get hourly, weekly, monthly, quarterly, or even yearly schedules. Using Excel, we can easily do that. Let me guide you to a structure for hourly schedules. Hello there. This is Farihatul Mim from Excel Lemi, your one stop for Excel blog posts, discussion forums, templates, and VBA related answers. Our problem today is to create an hourly schedule in Excel. Let's get down to the video. Initially, we will format cells so that all the data can be visible to you on screen. Change the column width for F to T and change into 3. For BC, change the column width to 8 and for DE, select 15. Let's add a heading. For that, merge B2 to T2 cell here. Select heading 2 from cell styles and write making an hourly schedule. Select font 14 for that. Now, for a date input, Merge O4 to T4. Middle align. Choose all border and type date. Suppose 01 January 2023. Now we will add column headers for our hourly schedule. In B6, Type serial number in C6, type ID as in employee ID, and in D6, type employee name. And finally, in E6, we will type total working hours. Let's change the row height of sixth row to 50 and for the column headers, choose wrap text, center and middle align. Now we will add time slots for each hour from F6 to T6. In F6, type 8 a.m. The time slot is not visible to us due to its short width. Let's change its orientation. From the Home tab under Alignment Group, click on Orientation drop-down. We can select Rotate Text Upward. See? Now it is clearly visible to us. Now we can just drag this using Fill Handle tool. Let's drag it till 10 pm or T6. Each of the time slots have been distributed considering one hour interval. If you don't want the 12 hour AM PM format, you can also choose 24 hour format. You can just choose that from custom format. I have chosen this one. Now we have 8 employees to add to this record. So we can just select on B7 and write 1 on B8 2 and we can just select both of them and using fill handle drag till 8 record. So let us format the cell range B6 to T14 as all border. Let's add information about the employees. You can either type them manually or copy them from somewhere already enlisted. From my employee list, I have copied their ID and name and will paste it here. The working hours completed by employees can be filled with a fill color. According to employees working data, we will complete this slot. Let's choose this color and fill this till 12 pm. Now 
In the total working hour column, we can just count them manually and write the total active hours. For Ashley, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, 10 hours. For Peter, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 hours as well. Repeat the process for all the employees. Here, 1 p.m. and 5 p.m. are lunch and snack breaks, respectively. Let's just merge them. And we will write the break names on them. So we can just select them and change orientation to rotate text up. Right here, lunch break. And here will be snacks break. From the table, we can see that this employee, William, with six serial number, didn't work at all. We can merge these cells and write nil. We can add a comment on his name cell D12 as well. Select it, go to Review tab, and from the Notes group, select the Notes drop down and choose New Note. We can just write Absent from here. You can see now, dragging your cursor over there will automatically show you the comment. If you want to add more comments, you can select New Comment from the Comments group. For better visuals, let's fill some empty cells and add some colors. Since William did not work at all, we can just add zero hour and we can add a fill color like this. And for the time slots, we can just add another color like that. We can bold these column headers as well. Here we are with an hourly schedule made within a short time. Simple, isn't it? We can create weekly, monthly schedule using Excel as well. You can get the descriptive video down the description box. You can practice this problem with the help of the Excel file in the description box below. Let us know if you were able to solve the problem in the comment section with suggestions and feedback. Stay tuned by subscribing to the channel and clicking on the bell icon. Like and share the video if it helps you. Thanks for watching.